Recently, I've been in a new era of the software development arc at work. I am building out an incubator system, I'm calling it, which scales, scores, and automates detection pipelines using AI agents. This sounds a lot cooler than it actually is. Now, as I've been programming, running through air codes, I've been thinking about programming in cybersecurity. In the era of AI agents, LLMs, is it even really worth learning how to program when it comes to security? The short answer is yes. Programming in cybersecurity still matters because you're going to still have to read, modify, and write blocks of codes, scale and deploy automations, and you're still going to have that critical eye, at least right now, because of fidelity. So let's talk about programming in the era of AI related to cybersecurity, some programming languages I reckon you use, and how programming languages are still used in security even with all of this stuff. Your favorite LLM or AI model can virtually write large chunks of code in the programming language of your choice, basically a pair programmer in the IDE. There are so many cool and unique projects out there, such as Cursor. I mean, you would think that like an entire job now can be automated with these AI models. So why learn programming in cybersecurity? You know, just have AI do it. Well, there's a few really important reasons that I still see today as I'm working with these tools on a daily basis. I've anecdotally found that AI models do a good job of providing a template such as gathering the necessary dependencies or third-party libraries, the flow logic, but oftentimes you need to really customize the code to your specific environment variables, which means you still need to understand how the code works and where you can point the AI models to to further enhance your code or just modify it manually. There's also the code fidelity question. AI models are getting much better at producing quality data, but there's still very much so a concern. You still have to keep a keen eye on the code blocks it generates and the functions that are being deployed. If they don't make sense or they're just literally not real, which I've found is still very much so the case, you have to be careful because you don't want to deploy faulty data or faulty code in your production environments. And finally, you have to think about code security. So AI models have been trained on historic data. Now, I'm using this as an extreme example, but Stack Overflow questions answered 15 years ago may be outdated. So knowing where to look for security vulnerabilities and insecure code blocks is still going to be important and is yet another thing you're going to have to think about when you come to AI models. I would absolutely still use AI models in your development stack of choice. But I just recommend always keeping that keen eye out for how and what is being deployed. What programming languages would I learn in this context of security and AI? Well, everyone is going to say something different. It doesn't really matter which programming language you choose. It's more so about the programming language primitives or foundations that carry over from programming language to programming language. So once you've learned the foundations of programming, learning the language is more about familiarizing yourself with the language's personal taxonomy. I mean, you're going to understand the basics and you can carry on those between every language. I've always recommended Python personally as a good starter programming language in security. Uh, it provides user friendliness, lots of third party libraries and documentation support, and it's used across a wide array of industries. Python, Go, JavaScript, and shell based languages such as Bash and PowerShell are good ones to stick to for your everyday analyst type work. Uh, you can start getting lower level and that's where the fun begins, but for the common engineer today, those are the ones I recommend. Programming in the context of security has a lot of different use cases. I can kind of come up with a few here off the top of my head. There's ad hoc scripts, so think like your log ingestion, network analysis, API integrations. You're going to deploy these scripts as kind of ad hoc to help with your automations or gathering data. There's writing detections. So this is something that I'm working on in my work project, but you're going to need to write out detections in various different declarative languages. So yeah, that's important. There's security configuration and automation tools. So think managing patch upgrades, permissions, security settings on your various different corp and prod fleets. Um, you're going to use maybe languages such as Puppet, Chef, Terraform to manage this type of task. And then finally is the offensive component. So you have scripts to drop exploits, 
building out red team tools, commonly what you use in Kali Linux, for example, are really just open source tools being developed by offensive security engineers. And then you have maybe defense evasion use cases. So there's a lot of different ad hoc or one-off things that you can do, as well as fully deployed integrated systems with programming. And then you have to think about the security implications of all of the different types of programming scripts, as well as just your programming environment well, kind of insecure code is out there because there probably is some. So those are kind of some of the cases that I've thought about when it comes to programming in security. So even in the world of AI, programming in cybersecurity will still be relevant. It's a pertinent skill, something I do recommend you, you learn while you are trying to enter into the security industry. Hopefully you found this video somewhat useful, rants of rant here, but uh, yeah, you already know what it is. Until the next time, have a good day.